things, but the primary brands at home have a dissimilar sort of historical aspect, like Group Park does. Oof, well, <laughs> I'd, you know, Ireland's been my home for a pretty long time now. I've been here watching a few football matches and to get the opportunity to play a game of rugby here, only the second club match to have ever been to be played here. Um, it's pretty it's pretty special and an absolute privilege and, you know, tomorrow is going to be one heck of a day. Mm -hmm. There are no brands of back home that have it? No, um, no, I wouldn't say that there would be anything of the sort of historical um, significance. No. Yeah, and your your knowledge of Pro Park is basically coined towards Sport. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's. <laughs> I mean, I think everyone understands uh, the history of what. Croke Park represents to the Irish people and um, I'm sure there's kids all around the country who dream of one day being able to represent their provinces here and their counties so look I, I'm well aware of what happened here. And it's been a, a different kind of running, the guys are off in South Africa for two weeks and mm. you guys are here, has that made any difference or was it any difference or was it not? Um, you know it's a funny old time of the year where obviously on one hand, you've got boys, you know, you've got to go to South Africa and hopefully perform. And then um, in the back of your mind, you've got a semi-final at Croke Park against Northampton. So, um, you know, the team, I guess, was kind of split in two, but, um, you know, this week it's all hands on deck. Those boys came in and gave us an awesome training week. Uh, you know, we had an extra week's prep and, um, you know, we're ready to rumble. And um, those boys came in and fit in seamlessly. And um, look, we're... We're definitely looking forward to tomorrow. James, it's uh, six years since the battle. Mm -hmm. A clear memory of you, you were very much involved in this. Intoxicated, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you spoke very well since about how not playing didn't affect your, your, your enjoyment of the day. Do you think you wouldn't enjoy it as much <laughs> had you known you still be waiting for a chance to have a Champions Cup six years? Yeah, um, probably took it for granted, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, I didn't play in that Bill Bow game, but, um, you know, the training week, the prep and everything leading up to it, I remember it so so well. And the boys performed on the day and we were able to get over the line. And um, look, we've been trying ever since then. And um, we, we put ourselves in, in a very good position now to give ourselves another crack. And that's what we're going to keep on doing. We're going to keep knocking on the door and... Uh, hopefully one day it opens, yeah. You're kind of laughed there when it's gone and suggests you didn't enjoy it as much as maybe the Congress that there wasn't. You couldn't help but feel kind of what the, with the wind and Bill yeah, Bell? Oh man, I had some crack in Bill Bell. We were in a we were in a bakery that was you know at nine o'clock in the morning, and we weren't having croissants. But um, you know that was that was a cracker of a day in Bill Bell, and the boys performed so well. And there's photos of that day. You know who was it? Fards, Jack. I think James Ryan. There's that famous one them of them going for the charge down on that drop goal uh, attempt right at the end, and that that sticks. In my memory, like um, like there's no tomorrow, and um, hopefully one day, you know, there'll be memories that someone else remembers of us in a final of an effort on effort that um, leads to us winning it. But one day at a time, man. Yeah, a lot of you spoken about this being an obsession again or again, the winning of it. Yeah, it's a sick obsession, man. <laughs> like it's heartbreaking. <laughs> you know, every single year you try so so hard and. Um, you know, on the day, it's 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 been so cruel to us for so many years. But um, you know, we'll keep uh, we'll keep going after it, and please God, yeah. How, can you be sure that you are better better fixed to win this this time than the last two years? Um, well, I mean, we every year we try to put ourselves in in the best possible way, shape, and form that we can, and. It's funny, it's such a fickle game because, you know, like we're talking how many points in those last two finals, you know, if we'd, if something else had happened, if a call had gone a different way, if we'd been given a pen at a different time or the interpretation of a ref, we wouldn't be talking about it, you know, and it's the same throughout all the tight matches. Um, we can sit here and argue about every point, but um, look, we're, we're obsessed, like the word that you said, and um, come tomorrow, it's you know, it's all hands on deck, and we're going to do our best, put our best foot forward, and hopefully come away with a result. 
Thank you, obviously, being with the team that's been in the last three years. When you've done that, is it easy to put that aside and just focus on, on the next opponents, or you know the fact that the team that's been the best team in Europe um, is that hard to put down for? Um. Look, no one's gonna. No one's going to care if we lose tomorrow. <laughs> well, they bet Lara Shell won a quarter final. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's nice. You know, we had them in the, in the pool stages. Boys went over there in, in horrible weather and did an absolute job. So, um, we came back to, to Dublin, uh, managed to put in a performance we were so happy with, um, but we can't rest there. It's all about tomorrow and being able to back up performances. Um, you know, it's going to be tight at times, it's going to be physical, it's going to be fast and um, we've had an awesome training, a couple of training weeks to prep ourselves to cross all the T's and dot all the I's and understand, you know, what Northampton can present. So uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. Um, what do you see in them that makes them such a um, Well, everyone, everyone talks about their, about their attacking side and fair play to them, man. Like when you, when you analyse them, when you break it all down, you know, there's people doing things off the ball to try and open up gaps. There's, you know, everyone's got a role and uh, they've got, you know, Courtney Laws in there playing, you know, first receiver off second phases and playing balls out the back. You've got Finn Smith turning the corner, um, picking people out. And, um, uh, you know, I know Freeman's at 13, but that, he's, a, he's a big boy and um, can run over top of you or around you. So, man, they've got threats across the park attacking-wise, so we've got to be on our best behaviour tomorrow to hopefully, um, you know, stop that stop that coming to, to the fold. Obviously, you guys are used to playing the semi-finals, but has it felt different this week because of strong power from the second two days? Yeah, it's, a, it's an enormous occasion. Um, you know, it's the first time we've been in this room and um, first time I'd actually been on the pitch was, was today for captain's run. It's, a, it's an, a, an amazing stadium and something that, you know, little boys and girls across the country dream of being able to play there. And the fact that we get to play a game of rugby, you know, club rugby there is to be given the opportunity to fill it out within hours, you know, it's, it's amazing. And, you know, come tomorrow, hopefully we can, we can do it justice. James, the, the different dogs, maybe, um, um, if you have an explain the different dogs to me tomorrow, normally back rows make the most tackles. Uh, the likelihood is that, that the Leicester back three will be up the top of the, the, the tackling statistics this week with the quarterback and Freeman. They mm. score approximately a third of all North Northampton destroys. Can you just tell us a bit about um, that's unusual? Uh, to be going to the games, they can be Yeah, if you look at a lot of their set piece, there's a lot of balls off the top. There's a lot of trick plays where you know the the hookers coming around. They're playing balls. They're trying to get to space. They attack edge to edge. You know they're making half breaks, line breaks the whole time. So uh, we need to be across absolutely every everything, and uh, they're physical in contact as well. So you know being able to stick tackles. I mean, fingers crossed, I don't have to make too many tackles tomorrow. That'd be some day at the office, but um, the likelihood is that that's not going to happen and we're going to have to, you know, put the head into a dark place, you know. So um, it's a credit to them and how they attack and they, how they want to play the game. And I think they said earlier they, wanna, they do want to play rugby when they come here. So, um, you know, it should be, it's teed up for a good spectacle, yeah. Just back to just point Johnny made. Um, it's so equivalent to say playing in Cape Town, which would be really unusual if you've never seen it before, or you come there on the basis that it's made to him and that makes all that noise. And I'm just wondering, are you under any personal pressure that's affecting probably the first New Zealand or lose a match in a hundred year old round? Um, no, we'll see Jamo's before me on the team list, so he can uh, he can take that one. But um, the plan is, you know, fingers crossed, we're we're able to put in a performance and that doesn't happen and um you know, we're gonna we're gonna do our best to hopefully that doesn't we don't become history, yeah. Yeah, it's a funny one. You're very windy in there. Um, but look it's every ground has their little quirks and perks and um, coming here it's it's magnificent. When you stand in the middle of that pitch and you look around and um, the sheer scale and size of it um, can be quite overwhelming, but 
look, we've been in some pretty big arenas away from here. It's just that, you know, this one's in our backyard and we get the opportunity tomorrow to, um, you know, put in a performance and hopefully they invite us back um, if we do a good job, yeah.